Welcome to another 3D comparison video. So how can AI help you design better products? I'm over here on leonardo.ai. So this is a free to use text to image platform. And as we can see, there are various um, already generated models that I prepared for this video. So we see the text prompt um, Penton chair designed by Werner Penton, hyper detailed center model with no cutouts. I also added sticker. This usually isolates the model. I added side view, industrial design, classic red color. And we see various shapes created by, by this platform using various algorithms. So the first one is Dream Shaper version 7. Over here we have some stable diffusion 2.1. And I just regenerated and only swapped some of the some of the text. As we can see over here, I added S shape chair because that's how Pantom chain is also known as. And there are various design ideas generated over here. Keep in mind that I generated all of this using the free tokens. So each day you have 150 tokens. I already have um, left so um, 14 tokens but keep in mind that they will be refreshed each day so for me and my case studies this platform is more than enough and the main advantage is that this is available free so let's see how we can further extend this design idea we have the possibility to use other solutions like lea peaks i will also put the leonardo Leapix converter in the description so you can follow along. So this platform helps you to bring your image to life. As we're gonna see, they will add some depth to that and create a small animation. So let's say this is the next level for just a concept photo like this one. If you wanna animate it to add depth, you can make use of this AI platform. I already have um, some of those images download over here i will add that and we're gonna see we have the possibility to change some options so we have animation length it's currently created animation and we see this camera movement going back and forth over here for this case study that photo was not really that well centered so i'm gonna upload a different one let's take a look at with this one so this is better centered and we see those shapes and we have the possibility to change the animation length It's currently set to six we can change that we can change the animation style so we have um, horizontal we're gonna see a wide circle a circle tall circle so it's mostly some camera movements as we can see with tall circle we can maybe see a little bit in the car in the chairs uh, sitting middle part or we have vertical and we also can have perspective but we see how that shape is let's say shifted we can also change the focus point and some other options over here and we can also adjust the depth map so this is the the default generated for this image and you can um, go ahead and adjust those at the end you can share this and you can go to full screen with it so edit and afterwards with a share you can have this um, exported if you want as an mp4 or, or as a gif or you can use it uh, as a depth map in various software such as blender and so on okay and uh, further if you want more let's say to bring these concepts to life you can make use of other free platforms like CSM 3D Viewer. This will enable you to generate 3D model for those. As you can see over here, I already added those, but for this case study, the platform uh, went and um, it says training failed, so we didn't manage to recreate the 3D model. But for other products, and I have some videos regarding this, like the Mini Yoda, we can see from that input image, we have uh, detailed 3D models. And I also made a case study with Pantone chair. 
But as we can see, there are some problems regarding this. I will not go over here into details. I just want to show you how the platform works and we can download the mesh as a GIB file. We can have that into Blender, into Fusion or, uh, or so on. So if you want to find more regarding that, you can check my video free to use uh, AI 3D model workflow with uh, me Yoda over here. I'm going to put the link over here at the top or if you are mostly interested in uh, design uh, an industrial design you can check my video can i create iconic designs the panton chair challenge and we're gonna see over here those case studies with um, the panton chair also i wanted to create more videos regarding ai platforms because i consider that the future of industrial engineering in this new age of AI will be heavily influenced, just like for concept artists. For example, if you want to take a look over here, initially, if you wanted um, to design various iterations of a baby Yoda, for example, you would have artists design those and recreate them. But now with generative AI, it's a lot easier to, to use platforms similar like this one. As you can see over here, a wide variety of baby Yodas that were started from a text to input and so on are, were generated really easy. And the same goes for other like cars and, and so on. So I know that artists have been heavily influenced by this and I'm sure that conventional, uh, let's say, design artists that don't have the engineering background are also heavily affected. And I discuss all these aspects within my video. Over here we see the future of industrial engineering is directly on my main YouTube page. And there is the case study of a molded plywood. And I also discuss these aspects so regarding the possibility of uh, job loss. Let me see why it's so pixelated. OK, so we see that for commercial industrial designers, back in 2015 the job loss percentage of let's say the chance of the job to be automated was only 3.7 keep in mind that 2015 ai generated the content was not let's say so mainstream like today in 2023 and we see within a more recent study we see that the possibility of this job to be automated has a higher risk so this is calculated to be at around 44 percent but um, i'm pretty sure that um, it will take let's say several years until an ai platform will be able to create a 3d model that can be then put into production so that means the design also needs to be constrained to the um, let's say manufacturing process if it's injection molding we require some drafting over there so we can have the core and cavities properly designed and so on so maybe the industrial designer job will be shifted towards that so it will be less concept design and stuff like that and most um, mostly the focus will be moved to um, uh, engineering aspects okay i will also leave this uh, this video up here if you want to i highly recommend that uh, you take a look on that and see what is let's say my perspective on this ai future with various platforms that can create images videos 3d models music and so on okay thanks for watching see you in the next video